Thanks very much indeed. Good morning, everybody. My voice sounds a bit strange. It's because I've got the thickest cold I've ever had probably in my life this morning. So I sound very dire, I'm normally a very high-pitched voice. Um, so I apologize for that. Um, can I ask a question as we start? I would love people to put their hands up if they've ever, if they've ever dressed up in a nativity. There's no time limit. Any time in your life. Is anybody... Look, I'm looking at the choir. <laughs> Is anybody not dressed up as a nativity? You have. You have. Who hasn't? Who hasn't? There are lots of nativities going on at the moment. I've been at a few uh, recently. There's a standard... Uh, the standard characters, aren't they? We all know what they are. There's the shepherd, they're the donkeys, there's the wise men, there's Jesus. Well, no, no one really dresses up as Jesus because he's a baby and he's plastic normally and he's in a, um, a manger of sorts. Um, but my, my favorite is always the angels. Um, I found this. It's a lovely little dress for an angel. Um, and very often, very little people at nativity time, they dress up as angels and they look so sweet, don't they? Boys or girls dressing up as an angel. But I can't help think that every time, I need to put this somewhere, I'm getting away. I can't help think, there's a cuddly angel, lovely, that angels, we probably do them a little dis, bit of a disservice at Christmas time. Because angels in the Bible are actually quite powerful and slightly terrifying at times creatures. There's lots of stories in the Old Testament where angels are involved and they do powerful things and people are often terrified of them. And I find that's a quite helpful image to rem think to remember when we hear about the Christmas story that we've just heard. When there was angels that appeared to, to Mary earlier on in this story and then Angels that appeared to shepherds on a hillside at night. I'd love us to try something if we can. There are, uh, however many people here, close to 100 people perhaps in this room. And I would love us um, to try and make as much noise as possible all at once. So maybe we could all say the same thing. Do you think we could do it? Um, maybe we could say something that is actually we've had read out. Maybe we could all say, glory to God in the highest, as loud as possible, all at the same time. Do you think we can give that a go? You feel up for it? You ready? So on three, glory to God in the highest. Are you ready? One, two, three, glory. glory. I think, I think we could do louder. Let's go again. One, two, three. Nice. Okay. So we're about 100 people. And on a hillside in, in near Bethlehem, the, <laughs> there would have been some shepherds in the dark. And all of a sudden, angels, these supernatural beings, which didn't look like this really at all, appeared. And there was a great multitude of them, and they all praised, and in the loudest of voices, they said, glory to God in the highest. And it would have been deafening, and it would have been awesome. And the shepherds would have sat there, having heard that there's a baby that's going to be born, and all of these angels, these supernatural beings saying, glory to God in the highest, they'd have gone, whoa, something massive has just hap is happening right now. All of that glory for this baby that's going to be born. And so they rush off to find the baby. Now, I don't know if you've got um, things that at Christmas time, you, you just think, oh, this just works really well with Christmas in your family. Have you got some? What do you always do at Christmas? We always have a turkey. We always have pigs in blankets. We always have a Christmas Eve boxes before we go to bed um, on the Christmas Eve. But I wonder, have you got some things? Um, have you, you must have something to do. But have, did you know that there are some things that happen in other countries which I just cannot compute and, and I just don't think fit with Christmas at all? 
in, in South Africa, they have these little caterpillars called Mojave caterpillars. They're harvested uh, around Christmas time, and so they often end up on a Christmas plate. Can you imagine that? Caterpillars at Christmas. In Norway, one of the most traditional meals to have just before Christmas is a sheep's head. Uh. Uh. My favorite, though, is, is in Japan, the most popular meal to have at Christmas, one of the most popular meals to have at Christmas, is actually Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> and 3.6 million people on average a year buy KFC at Christmas. Things that I don't think fit together with Christmas. Now, when the shepherds heard this glory, glory to God in the highest, and they saw how great these angels were, what they will have gone to see won't have fit very well with what they were expecting, I don't think. Because they've just seen the, the glory of God and how wonderful He is, and they get told to go to find a baby in a manger in a stable. The two things don't fit together, do they? God is really glorious and powerful and big and loud, and all of that power is on display on the hillside, and yet the baby's in a manger. He's small, and he's weak, and he's vulnerable, and it's smelly. Why is this so wonderful? Well, I wonder if it's so wonderful uh, because it's the type of glory and wonderful thing that we need but we don't expect. Have you ever, I'm sure you'll all have been to fancy dress parties before. I've been to lots of fancy dress parties. Nobody ever dresses up as Jesus, do they, at children's fancy dress parties? Nobody ever dresses up as him. They will dress up as a Batman or a beautiful princess or a... Um, or Superman or Spider-Man or something big and powerful because that's what we like to dress up as. Well, I personally don't do it anymore, but uh, you can understand why people would dress up as Spider-Man because he's so cool and powerful. You can understand why people would dress up as Superman because he's so super and so strong and we like to imagine ourselves as super and strong. People won't dress up as Jesus though because actually he's not quite like that. He doesn't quite fit the mold of strong and powerful, even though he is God and he came as a baby. You see, he is a superhero, Jesus, in a wonderful sort of way, but he's not just a superhero that we want to be, he's a superhero we near, really need. I've got my favorite Christmas, favorite Christmas card I've ever had this year, genuinely. Favorite Christmas card. This is the best Christmas card I've ever had. And the reason is, it's from Teddy. He's just learning to write. And it says, Happy Christmas. Well, it says, To Mummy and Baddy. <laughs> Love Teddy. It's cool on so many levels, isn't it? And cute. But it also, at Christmas time, speaks, I think, speaks better than it knows. Because the reality is, I am a baddie. When it comes to God, I spend time not liking him. I spend time being rude about him. I spend time not wanting to him to be God and me being God. And so I need a help and a rescuer. Not one I want, but one I need. And what I need is for someone to come to the world and rescue me. I need God to come and rescue me, which is exactly what happens at Christmas. I'm a baddie, God comes down as a baby, and he's weak and vulnerable and needy, because I am weak and vulnerable and needy. I'm poor, I need someone to help me, and so he becomes poor, so he can help me. And that is Christmas in a nutshell, all of the glory on the hillside, but a small, weak baby. God becoming man, it's not so he might be the hero we want, but the hero we need. Because I needed him to live for me, to die for me, 
so that I might be forgiven by him. And that is why the wonder of Christmas is so good. It's God and man coming together. The hero we really need, not always the hero we want. Let me pray for us. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for Jesus coming at Christmas. The hero we need, not the hero we want. Help us, we pray, as we reflect on Christmas over these next weeks to ponder this more deeply and to treasure it up in our hearts, just like Mary treasured it up in her hearts, that we might follow him and come to trust in him more. And we pray that in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen.